But it's also the review of the pension fund itself. That's right. The, well, you see, and, and I think the review of the pension fund is tiny because right now the, the fund is, and even though they say it's underfunded, my mm. description of, I don't think it is underfunded. Mm. I think it was, this is my words, I think it was mismanaged from the time that the superannuation fund was started back in the 1980s. Um, my recollection is that the, it was started in 1981, and when the actuaries came in, um, they told the, the government to leave the fund alone, yeah. let the fund sit there for 20 years, let them accumulate, uh, and after it, you're able to build up you know, some reserves, then you can go start paying out pensions, and you go start doing okay. those sort of things. But they didn't even give the fund five years before they decided to dip into it, right? Um, because we had their people retired from government, and they start paying them a pension. And now the 85, between 84 and 86, they start paying, paying, out, pension, paying out pensions. Now, the fund was supposed to sit for 20 years, so that means you sh nobody should have been paid out that plan right. until 2000 or 2001. You had pension, and, and you can check this, because huh? I think it's the old, they should be verifiable facts, that either in 19, between 1984 and 1986, they start paying contributions out of that fund to retirees. Then in 1987, they actually took 10 point, uh, I want to say it's 35, 38 million, but I can't prove the 38 million part of it. But I, what I can prove is that they took 10 million, 750,000 dollars out of there to buy Global House. Okay. They took that out of pension contributions, right? Hmm. And this is all the time frame where the funds are not supposed to be touched. So the fund is underfunded right now because of the UBP's mismanagement of that fund. That's why it's underfunded. And that's, that's the BIE's position. Okay. And understand and appreciate that, you know, if we're talking about my information is and I and I can't confirm it, so I'm not using this thirty eight million dollar figure, but my understanding is they took thirty eight million dollars out of that fund. Whilst they used ten to buy the global house, I'm not sure what they done with the other twenty eight million, but I knew that it was my source tells me they took thirty eight million dollars out of the fund in nineteen eighty seven. That's what they took out in nineteen eighty seven. That's what they took out of the fund. And if you look at that thirty eight million dollars that they took out and make no mistake about it, that money was never put back in by the UVP. Right. Okay. They had the better part of 11 years to put that money back, or 10 years to put that money back, because they ran out of power in 1998. They never put those funds back in there. And the question needs to be asked, why, you, why did you take it out? Because it, you were told not to touch it by the actuaries, and then why was it not put back in the, in the fund? The PLB put those funds back in there. In 2005, the PLB put those, put those funds back in the plan. Okay. So obviously, you're, very, you're, you're quite sympathetic with the government's position that they find themselves in. Yeah, I am. I am very, very um, but I'm more sympathetic to the people who are, mm. are, are, are due to get a benefit from their plan, right? Because, you know, whether it's the UBP government or, or the PLP government, whichever government, government mismanages their funds, then they have to be held accountable for it. And I'm thinking that the, the UBP needs to be held accountable for what, what they did. I mean, you can't have an actual, I tell you, do A and you decide to do B and now you're going to hold the current government responsible for that? I don't think so. That's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm.